Jonathan, as storms develop, we rely on data from the hurricane hunters who fly into storms. But parts of the storm are still too dangerous for even these brave men and women. So now they are testing a new drone, hoping to get results and get data back from those danger zones. Lieutenant Commander Adam Abitball, a test pilot for NOAA, has flown into hurricanes for years. But this season, he'll be flying alongside a new member, a drone named Altius 600. It'll be a, a new first for us here at NOAA, and uh, we're excited about it for this season. Right now, hurricane hunters rely on dropsons, which are small, lightweight containers that collect data while they free fall into the ocean. You don't always want to drop a drone, but this is next. This is what's going to get us to what's beyond a drop zone. Weighing 25 pounds with a wingspan of 8 feet, Altius was created by Area Eye, a private company specializing in drone technology. And we actually integrated the same pressure, ten temperature, and humidity sensor mm -hmm. that's in the drop sound that is on the nose of Altius. We also added other sensors to add more data. Along with more sensors, this drone has the ability to travel 200 miles away from the P3 while streaming in data. Drone can last up to four hours collecting data and, and give us that continuity of data in, in the boundary layer. The boundary layer is a complex zone near the surface. But we live near the surface. So we want to know what the winds are. We want to know what this thing is doing right at the surface. And that's how the storm feeds itself. So we want to get down there, but it's too dangerous. Too dangerous for hunters to fly through, limiting our data in a vital part of a storm. That's until now. We get these drones and get them in these areas. And when we lose them, it's not a big deal. We'll eject out of the aircraft. And then once, once clear of the aircraft, uh, as we talked about before, it'll, uh, it'll deploy its flight control services and begin flying. Essentially becoming its own separate mini hurricane hunter. So that we can kind of do two almost independent missions uh, of data collection. And it's this new stream of data that has the ability to improve forecasts for years to come. This helps us in a real way, in a real world, in an in, in a, in a economically viable way to do this. So it's a win-win for everyone. It's kind of a really exciting new environment that we're gonna we're gonna take into, uh, into the 2021 season. And just like those drop signs, the drones will also be expendable. They need to perform a few more tests before the first official drone mission sometime this season.